This video is going to be making a, uh, a belt tensioner for the uh, PM1228 lathe. And uh, this was a suggestion by Bruce of, uh, I think he said St. Paul Steam. And uh, we were talking on the phone and he mentioned that changing the belt was a pain and I agreed with him. And he also said that a lot of people don't change the speed when they should. And I said, well, I was thinking that that was me. So I did some thinking about it and I came up with a system to quick release the belt and uh, retighten it. So uh, I'm going to show you how it is now and then I'll show you how it is with the tightener on there. In order to switch the speed, you have to open this up and there's your tightener there. And you have to get an Allen wrench. And of course it's not in there where it's supposed to be. Oh, right here. Right here. You gotta get in behind the belt and, and loosen this screw. Move that aside. Then you gotta switch the belt over. Retighten that. Reset the screw. Close it back up. That takes probably a couple of minutes tops, but uh, it is kind of a pain. And uh, when I get, I'll put the, the tightener on there that I made and you'll see how much difference there is. What you need is a block to mount the toggle clamp on. And it has to swivel a little bit. There's two ways to do this. You could actually make the swivel here and make it part of the, uh, the connecting rod. But I did it this way because I wanted a one bolt to hold it on there and using a bolt hole that was already there. And as you'll see, I took one of these bolts out of here. Actually, I took two out because one was in the way. But there's plenty of them in there. And this just mounts on there like that. And... Tighten this up. You can see that block sw swivels on that. And this was an existing hole that I used. It's like uh, three eighths of an inch thick. It should be at, at least uh, seven sixteenths or almost a half an inch thick because it lines up better when you have a, a little more thickness in there. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a washer in between the uh, the toggle clamp and the bracket. And I have to put one in between each one. So that's because you only have to do this once, but uh, it would be nicer if I made the, the, the block a little thicker. Okay, so th you see I've got it bolted on there and it'll swivel nicely. So th this is the connecting link. I just made the yoke. It's just a piece of 5 16 and it's threaded in here. That is a metric thread. You could probably change change that thread if you wanted to just by running a, uh, a 5 16 24 thread in there and make it fit because all you're doing is pushing and pulling. So if you, you just re-threaded that onto the metric thread, if you don't have that uh, metric threader. So that screws into here. And I designed this so I screw it in all the way to there, and then that's the right, right length. Okay, we have to drill a hole right here, and it's right in behind this uh, idler pulley. So, you have to take this whole mechanism off of there. So the way I do that is I get to take the belt off first. Another thing I should mention, that this belt is a half inch longer than the belt they shipped me with the lathe. The one that was on there before was so tight you could hardly change the speed. So I bought one a half an inch longer and it works fine and it's actually it's a higher quality belt. This is a good year and it's a well made belt. Okay, so now we got to take this off. Just going to loosen them up a little bit here. And 
And there's a couple of collars behind that, so they're gonna drop down if you're not careful. Well, a little more turn there. Take the two collars off, the two bolts out. And there's where I put the hole. And it's probably only has to be about an eighth inch back. And just give yourself enough clearance to swing your, uh, whatever you do for a yoke here. As you can see, that yoke has to clear it. So that fits on there like that. And just has to clear that, uh, shaft. Now this shaft can be taken off too if you want to do that. Let me pop that off of there. So th there's the bearing. It's just held on with a snap ring. It's kind of a tight fit so I had to sort of tap it out of there. But now I can put this in the drill press and drill the hole. Of course the hole's already there. I don't have to but uh, that would be the, the way to do it. And then I took the original bolt out and I put a longer bolt with a spring because this isn't going to be loosened and tightened anymore. It just has to be held in place. So I have to drill the hole, just reinstall it. Bolts on the two collars. So that was pretty tight, so I'm going to use a little bit of extra force here to make sure those are tight. You don't want them loosening up. Now this screw here, I'm not even sure if that's necessary, but uh, I'm going to leave it on there with a spring. I don't think that's really doing much, but uh, you might be able to just take that thing off of there. Let me let me try it with it off. Oh, there's a bushing behind it, of course. If I take it off there, then I'll have to realign that bushing. So I'll just leave it on there. And the yoke fits in here. The little pin back in. And there it is. Put the belt back on. The easy way to do it. Open the door, release the handle, take the belt. Retighten it, and it's done. That's probably 30 seconds instead of two minutes, but uh, it's, it's enough easier so that I'll be more likely to change the speed when I need to. Another thing you have to watch out for is getting the thing over tight because this thing has a lot of force when you force it down there and you you basically want to get it a little more than what you would do if you pushed it down by hand. But, uh, it doesn't have to be really real tight because it's it's got good traction and with a longer belt it actually pushes it in more and gets more grip here. So. I think that's going to work great. As you can see, the lathe still runs with, uh, with that disengage. And actually, I've, I've used the lathe with that disengage and not realized. And then it starts slipping. I said, what's wrong? I hope uh, you get something useful out of this. And I thank Bruce for uh, giving me the idea. 
because now I'll be more likely to change the speed when I need to. And uh, it just makes it more convenient. And remember, if you get a belt that's a half inch longer, you'll find it a lot easier to change it because the one that's on there is so tight you can hardly get it off. And it's, it's the half inch difference makes a, all the difference in the world in changing the belt. Plus I got a higher quality belt. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you.